his usual place. Oh, um, Hi, Julian. Hi. Oh, How are you? Nice you came, thanks. Cold hands. Hello. It's freezing. Good, 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 thank you. How are you? Julian Ree is my name, yes. um, and I'm now uh, getting into uh, I put this, um, the 80s. Uh, how have you been, Julian? Um, well, not too bad, but my leg, but... Uh, well, my name's Anne Ree, and I'm married to Julian, and we've been married for nearly 50 years. About three years ago, I, I got ill. He had a stroke, and <clears throat> in a moment, one's entire life was changed. It just took a moment. It was a brain hemorrhage, and it was very serious, and he was nearly dead. And it was uh, Queen Square, um, the neuro hospital there, got him back into the it world. It think about Which he complained about quite a lot when it first happened. But he is paralysed right down his right side. And so that means, as he was right-handed, he's had to learn to do a lot with his left hand. Well, re really, Reg got us, got us started off on this, and I, I uh, came after this um, problem, from this problem from with my uh, sis. I, right. could, I, I, I couldn't uh, work, and I'm always used with, with two hands because I was a potter. My name is Reg Borer. I'm a, a neighbour of Anne and Julian's and um, a founder with them and Judith Glover um, of our little drawing club. And it brings together certain interests of mine. I'm a Parkinson's sufferer and I've had um, deep brain stimulation, which meant I had to stop work. And... Um, look for something else to do, and I'm uh, a trustee of Hampstead School of Art. My name is Judith Glover, and I started coming to these evenings with Julian and Anne at about the same time as Reg. I think all of us have, have gained a lot in different ways, and mainly it's just that we're all doing something, and it's lovely company. We hear Anne's stories and we hear Julian's stories. Because I couldn't bore with, with only that one hand, I had to start trying to learn how to draw. And, and, and these lovely people have done their best, best to, to, to teach me. I don't think I do it as, as, as well as, as, as I would like to be able to, but at least it's a something which I can try uh, off with. He's certainly got more confidence with his, uh, with his left hand and with, and with drawing and painting altogether. I mean, he's, uh, he does. He's, got, he's, he's learnt a lot, I think, through these classes. I have been great benefit too. He looks forward to them. He spends most of the week looking forward to Tuesday evenings. There's one really positive thing in, uh, uh, in, my, in my, my life. It's been wonderful to see how drawing is such a therapeutic thing to do and how the fact yeah, that he's improving is a testament well, to the therapeutic um, that one runs qualities of drawing. I think what's lovely about it is that it benefits everybody so it's kind of not that you're coming to make conversation, you're coming That's to right. do something and sometimes actually we, we spend the whole pretty much you know, half an hour can go by without anybody yeah. saying much. But we still always have a nice time. Yeah. So it yeah. does just become kind of like a, a very natural process. I provide the tea. <laughs> and no. usually we end up with a glass of wine, <laughs> which is a bit I like. <laughs> By accident, really, we've started this little club and it's really, really works. I like the fact that these things are coming together, that... The power of drawing is um, helping Julian, and I would very much like to um, ex expand this thing um, into a sort of campaign. I'd love to see this being done nationwide, people going into um, homes of people that can't get out and, and teaching them to draw. 
when there's so many things you can't do, it's quite nice to, to, to find something that you can work with.